Hey friends, I just got home from the gym and uh, I'm drinking some green juice. This one is kale, celery, parsley, lemon, and apple. It's really good. Um, but I just finished my workout. I'm feeling really great. Um, I've actually had some time off lately and I had big plans to film. And every morning I woke up, I was like, mm, I don't feel like filming. I don't feel like filming. And I didn't, um, and it felt really good just to disconnect. And um, the other thing I've been really struggling with is after Parkland, it feels so contrived. And I almost, I didn't watch much YouTube at all the past two weeks because it feels really weird to film like a new product or talk about nonsense when there's so much happening in our country and in our world. Um, it just doesn't feel right to me to do. Um, it just doesn't, it just doesn't feel good. Um, so for me, it's a really hard struggle to talk about like skincare or a luxury product or redecorating something when 17 people lost their lives. Um, it's so tragic. I, I, can't bear to watch anything about it, um, but force myself to anyway. Um, but when you look at those kiddos, they were 14, 15, 16, 17 years old. They had their whole lives ahead of them. Who knows what they would have gone on to become. Um, it just seems so nonsensical. I don't know. So that's why I didn't vlog because it was, it felt very weird to me to do so. I'm going to finish this juice, going to get ready for the day to run some errands, and then, yeah. That's going to be my thumbnail. I'm going to go take my shower, and while I'm at it, my mug is going to stay exactly where I set it at 145. So when I come back from my shower, my mug should, my coffee should still be at 145 degrees, which is great. Woohoo! I really like this thing. I think it is a great, great gift idea. So it has been a good morning of self-care. I got a really great workout in, just got showered, and I'm using the Yves Rocher uh, uh, Vegetal Hydra, Hydra Vegetal Mask. Now that my shower's over, my coffee is at a perfect 145. So I'm going to enjoy my coffee. Hang out with the Bubba's. Bubba's gonna hang out with you. And Steven, so I'll see you all in a little bit. I am like total chill out mode and have just been like relaxing and like loving life. Um, but I do wanna show you, we got the second shelf from Target that I shared in last weekend's vlog. So we've actually put them up now and I want you to see what they look like. I think it's a really great way to get sconces and they just look so pretty. Um, I'm not set with these candles. These are the really large Rituals candles that I picked up in uh, maybe Amsterdam. I think I did pick them up in Amsterdam. And I have two of them. Um, but I think I want to do like some white pillars. I just think it'll go much better with the aesthetic of the dining room. But what's great is this brass will really reflect the flicker. Um, so I might just sit like pillars by themselves on those. So today has been a complete bust thus far. I went to Home Depot, bought those tiles. I bought the wrong thing so they don't work. I had already taken the entire bed apart um, and Stephen and I ended up carrying that downstairs. So right now the bed is gone. So originally I was going to use those wood tiles the whole way up the wall I'm not excited about that anymore. So that idea has been scratched and I just bought a gray upholstered headboard with um, nail heads in it. And then Steven and I are going to the Sleep Number store to buy like the very specific bed skirt we need for under the bed. So that will all look much neater and finished. Then we'll have the gray upholstered headboard. Then we are buying two new side tables and mounting sconces on these walls that are on arms so you can like put them over you while you're reading. So that's what's happening on this side. That dresser is going away. I think eventually I'm gonna change out all the knobs, paint it white, 
and it's going to be like craft storage in my office um, because there's just so many drawers that you can uh, really organize things into. That is going to disappear. Over there is going to be some sort of desk and chair situation. Over on this side, a new console table that is much longer and will run along there. And then I'm gonna put like three stools underneath it. So that is the plan. I'm going to get this room revamped. As far as wall art, I know I wanna get rid of that stuff over there. Um, with the desk, I'm thinking of doing some vertical shelves up the wall. Maybe to display like some of our favorite books and things from travels. I want like some sort of like plant over there. That is what's happening today. Well, or didn't happen, but a lot of shopping took place. Um, I did swing by Target. I wanted to show you guys a couple things that I picked up. Um, some new things that I'm really excited about. One thing that I picked up is this Tarte Orange Hydrogel Lip Mask. Um, it has collagen in it. It's paraben free. I've never done a lip mask, so I'm excited. Then they also had these Spa Life um, masks. So I got this moisturizing avocado one. I got um, a brightening papaya, a deep cleansing lime, and a pH balancing pineapple mask. I'll let you know what I think about them. I've really been enjoying sheet masks lately just because they're like so less messy to fuss with. So I've been trying to find some new ones to try. This is my second pack of these and I gotta share it because it's a newer brand that Target has just started carrying. These are by Shea Moisture. These are the African Black Soap Clarifying Facial Wash. They have tea tree oil in them. Um, it helps balance oily, blemish prone skin. I love these things. I've been carrying them in my bag when I'm traveling. They make my face feel so clean for just a cleansing wipe. I love them. If you were at your Target, pick these up. I think they're like 4 or $5. They are so worth it. I'm loving them. And then lastly, I picked up some stuff from Zoella. Um, Target carries her line. I'm really excited about it. So I got the Wondrous Whip um, Body Cream. I got the Pretty Polished Sugar Scrub for exfoliating. And then lastly, I got a couple packs of the Fizz Bar. So I think they're kind of like a bath bomb, essentially. You break them off, throw them in your um, bathtub. It is a wild and crazy Saturday night. It is 6.48. I'm in my pajamas. We just got back from dinner. We went for crepes. It was fine. It was nothing great. The Brussels sprouts were very good. Crepes. The crepes were just meh. I, I like the crepes. Of course you did. Um, Steven is putting away dishes, living his best life. Bubba is, is sulking in the living room because he didn't get to go. And, yeah, that's about it. This vlog is pretty uninteresting. Um, and we will pick up tomorrow and hopefully something more exciting takes place. I try to figure out who I am. Not sure what I'm doing here And the days don't work out the way I thought they would And before you there was no one who understood Never found somewhere I fit in Until I met you I was feeling lost But you're the one who can Make it go away All you have to do Is look at me Sometimes I I can't breathe But it feels like you're the one Who saves me When I try But don't succeed Yeah, it feels like you're the one who who saves me It is Sunday morning and uh, I haven't done a whole lot so far. Um, 
I have taken off the gym. I did eight days in a row at Orange Theory and my knee has been bothering me a little bit. Um, I'm going to do something today to work out a little bit, but I'm just gonna take it easy for a minute. Um, what is going on today? Well, I had some coffee, did some bullet journaling. Um, I'm gonna walk you through that a little bit later. Um, I did something a little different this week that I'm excited to try and I wanted to share it with you. Um, right now I'm just like finalizing, if you're following me on Instagram, you know that last night, um, well, yesterday the bedroom shenanigans didn't, yesterday the bedroom stuff did not work out the way I wanted to. So basically I've been buying all new stuff for the bedroom yesterday and today. I'm going to show you a couple things I picked up. If you're following me on Instagram, you've already seen some of these. But I will leave everything linked down below in this video in case you're interested in any of the stuff. These are the side tables that we're going to go with. Let me... They are so pretty. I love how they're curved. The top is marble. They're from West Elm. Um, they're called the P Penelope table, I believe. Um, we're going to go with this mid-century vibe. So... Yes, we're gonna buy two of these, one for each side of the bed. These are on a swivel, so you can like move them over you while you're reading, you can move them to the side. These will go on the wall. They're really easy to install, you just bolt them in and then they have a cord here um, that has the switch. Also ordered this table from Wayfair. The price is so good. Um, this is gonna go under the TV in our bedroom. I love that it has like the white top with the wood. Then lastly, this is the headboard I chose. I found this at Birch and Lane. Uh, once again, a super good price. It's just the headboard, but it's perfect because um, I wanted something simple and gray. Still on the hunt for like the perfect like mid-century desk. We're gonna move the dresser out because our closet's so big that we don't need a dresser in any way, shape, or form. Um, so we are going to replace that with like a mid-century writing desk and chair. Um, but the room feels so much lighter. And then I'm debating on an idea of like layering a rug on top of the carpet. Um, I've looked at a couple uh, images that have done it and I really like the look. It's just finding the right rug to layer on top um, so that it lays really well. Um, but I'm thinking like a antique like Persian rug. I'd like to get something used off of eBay that has like some distress to it. Um, not like fake distress, like real old rug. I'm going to check out a couple antique stores as well to see if I can find something I like. Last night we watched um, Murder on the Orient Express. It was actually really good. I liked it. The The filming of it is really beautiful. Um, another movie we watched recently, hold on let me go to my movies because we've bought them. The other movie we watched recently is Three Billboards Outside of Ebbing, Missouri watch it. It was funny and emotional and just a beautifully told story. Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri was fantastic. Um, I really, really liked it. I am going to head off to Home Goods to see if I can find anything for the bedroom. We got some bad news. Um, West Elm actually contacted me about the two nightstands that we were ordering and they will not ship until July or June 10th, I have to look back. So I've been looking all afternoon for ones that are similar and I cannot find it. So Steven and I are debating, do we just wait until June or July 10th? Um, or do we find something else? So I don't know. I think we wait because they're perfect. That's what my gut says. All right, we are off. I am back from Home Goods. And I grabbed a few things for the bedroom redo, and I'm really pleased with a couple of the things I found. When thinking about the bedroom, the one word that keeps coming to mind is layering. So I wanted to find really creative um, ways to layer, as well as like really unique pieces um, to add texture and like just like a coziness to the room. So one thing I'm doing in this corner right here is I found another one of those really big tapestries that I had found a couple of vlogs ago for the stairway and I decided to put it behind the chair and to purposefully, I think when we hang things we think you need to see the whole thing, but I purposely hung it lower so that it layers in behind the chair with the pillow and the blankets on there. 
And then I just grabbed this little like terrarium thing. This side table is something we had in the guest room and I didn't realize how well it would look in that corner. Over here is where that new white um, console table will be going that has like the white and um, natural wood top that um, I showed earlier. And what I wanna do is underneath it, put this stool and like layer this rug underneath it so that it's all like one little piece. Um, and then think of a creative way to hide that. Steven headed off to see some movie called Annihilation with Natalie Portman. It was definitely not something I was interested in seeing. Bubba's is hanging out here. Oh, he's a Bubba's. He's an old, old man. He's an old, old man. An old, old man who wants a belly rub. Who wants a belly rub? Oh to night for dinner, we are making Korean chicken tacos. And we are supposed to drink one of the yellow bottles of wine. So we're doing the wine pairing. So what's really nice is that um, Blue Apron sends your bottles and it actually has the label um, so you know which ones pair with which meals. So tonight we're going to make those Korean tacos. Also, I'll show you something that I'm doing a little differently for this week in my bullet journal. So for this week, I'm trying something a little different. I wanted a little bit more space to write. So I have my normal weekly layout, um, like normal. I'm using that squiggly cursive that I like that you almost can't read, um, but I can. And there are my daily spreads right there, along with like a little March calendar. And then I folded a page in half in between. And one side is for a running to-do list. The other side is for gratitude. And then when you open it up, it's a place to just doodle. So I'm keeping that in the middle and I kind of love it. So that's my new setup for this week. And it is going to work for me, I think. I like having a little bit more space and then this page can become anything I want it to be. Yep, that's the setup for this week. We will keep you posted. Do you want to peel the potatoes and get them ready? Yeah. No, we're not going to put it in the oven. You said in the skillet. Yeah, it's not going in the oven. Put it on the stove. Yes. Yeah. You don't feel comfortable cooking chicken that way? No. I would rather put it in the oven. Why? Because... But we have to put sauce on it and saute the sauce with the chicken. Yeah, I don't want to saute it. Uh... Well then, so you're just cleaning the potatoes. I'm peeling the potatoes. Here are the finished Blue Apron meals. I had an, some extra slaw, so I just added that. And then I had some black sesame. So we have the sweet potatoes, the Korean tacos, and yeah, dinner is served. We are wrapping up dinner and it was a success. Did you like the tacos? I loved them. Mm -hmm. They are really good. Um, I'd say every meal has been, like the meal itself has been really, really good. Mm -hmm. um, we're super pleased. This is week three now. Two. No. So this is the third week of meals. Yeah, third week. Mm -hmm. um, and we have really enjoyed them. I am going to go ahead and end the vlog here. Um, and I will leave it like I leave all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone. Until next time.